I cannot use. All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of We Rebuilds. Today, we're gonna talk about the 2018 Audi A5. Hey, so what we're gonna do today for this video is basically talk about the car and the process that I've used by buying it from IAA. So anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below, turn your post notifications on, check us out on all social media links. Hey, and don't forget to make sure that you click the like button and also share. If you like the video, click the button. If you don't like the video, click the button. So I know what I need to work on. But anyways, let's hop straight into this video. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna talk about a 2018 RDS5, cool? So, We've gotten this car from Portland. That's where we end up buying this 2018 Audi A5. Honestly, bought another car sight on scene. Scene. Reason being because I wanted to, I honestly bought it to sell parts off of it, honestly, because I didn't really want to do. Kind of want to say waste my time rebuilding another um, Audi. And the next reason too is since the channel is not, um, I'm not making any money. So I have to do these things like to end up catching up on some, on, on some money. So that's why I ended up buying this car. So originally I paid for this car. Where is it? Oh, so I think, so this is just the title that they end up sending, sending to me, but I end up winning this car off the auction for 1000 $750 I want to say I end up winning the car for uh, taxes and fees out the door I end up paying $2,100 and then I paid $1,000 to got a shipping so overall I paid about $3,100 for this car spending $3,100 on this car honestly was like hey I'm gonna part it out um, it doesn't look bad the frame is not bent the but you do have the radiator support and those corners by the by the by the strut tower, those are kind of bent down, just like how we had it on the previous Audi um, S5. So I was thinking, like, yeah, I could fix it, and I could probably sell it for cheap because I could probably fix it. But the other reason was I told myself if it came back with a clean title, I might I would have um, fixed it. But because it came back, it, that's what it said. The title was clean, but it, I, it's, it's actually a reconstructed title. So because of that, I honestly don't feel like rebuilding it. And I was like, I could do a, a swap or something, but I was like, no, I'll just, I'll just leave it and start selling it for parts. So I currently have a couple of customers already need, that need some stuff off this 2018 Audi A5. So it's pretty much, it's not bad. The process with IAA, it was, it was simple. I want to say with this car though, dealing with Port Portland um, IAA, it was it wasn't bad. They called me, uh, paid the paid the price and everything. They asked me since I'm shipping it if I could get a. Um, they end up telling me they're gonna send a forklift. So I did make the payments to do the forklift, but turns out that when the tr the truck got here with the car, they didn't have no forklift came. So anyways, they ended up reimbursing me that money. And that, as you can see from the previous video that we dropped last week, Saturday, you, you notice that in that video, me and my friends were basically pulling the car off the truck. So that was a bit sketchy, but we definitely got it off the truck and we were really happy with the results of that. But next episode, what I'm gonna probably do is basically make a whole, I wanna say we're gonna wash down this car, that I'm, this car. I'm gonna probably give y'all a quick walk, walk around two of the whole car so you can see pretty much most of the damages and, and the stuff that's actually wrong with this 2018 Audi A5. So, but yeah, it, um, working with IAA, as I said, for me, the state that I'm from is Florida. I cannot use my license to bid on cars publicly so my wife she could use her license so i ended up using her license to get this car that made it easier the process was simple but for iaa you do have a fee you actually pay 250 dollars i think every year 
you pay that $250. What I'm trying to do is I also have a partnership with, or not partnership, but I also have a membership with Salvage Bid. So Salvage Bid works alongside with IAA and they are like the middle person, just like how the last episode or the last video that I did like this, I said Auto Bid Master was like the middleman for Copart and me. So Salvage Bid is like the same middleman between me and IAA. And Salvage Bid makes it a lot easy. What I normally do is wait till Black Friday and wait till they're doing a Black Friday sale. More, normally, they give sales th throughout the year for the membership and it's normally 30%. On Black Friday, I realize it's the biggest sale because they give 50%. So I always do and get the VIP. And getting the VIP end up getting, if I'm trying to ship with um, Easy Haul, Easy Haul gives me like a 10% discount to ship with them. So that's one of the reasons why I like using IAA or salvage bid and IAA is a kind of it's kind of a bit easier I want to say to use but the only thing that I like with Copart and Auto Bid Master is Copart and Auto Bid Master Auto Bid Master you have that little tab where you could like each time when you renew the membership you get like maybe 10 or 15 free um it's like a free thing that you you could use to check check the cars and then you could see everything what's going on with the cars and like if the car has been doctored up before or if the car and that's if you don't have like a membership with um the uh, i think the company is our uh, auction auction.com or something like that when you use auction.com you can just type in the vin put the vin in and then you, it pulls up everything in the history of the car so normally you could get do something like that with auto bid master for salvage bid i kind of have a little bit of difficulties with it and it's not as easier or user friendly as the one with Auto Bid Master. So I think Salvage Bid needs to fix that up and work on them and work on that. But yes, I did buy this vehicle from IAA. The 2018 Audi S5 that I have, I bought that vehicle from Salvage Bid. And then the parts one, I bought it from Auto Bid Master. So it's pretty easy how to basically um, buy stuff and you could do the same thing I could give you even like a rundown of when you how it actually works too so I'll show you a video of that real quick so you could actually see how to log in and then go step by step when at, of, of stuff that I'm in I'm looking at or cars that I'm looking at and stuff like that but anyways that's pretty much it for for the the for this video I'm gonna show you how to, to do some stuff real quick. And then, plus, as a matter of fact, let's, let's do the walk around of the 2018 RDA 5 right now. All right, so we just got done washing the car. So tomorrow, we're gonna do the inside and clean up some of the insides. Yeah, so some of the parts that I see that I'll need, this piece, this piece, this piece, um, couple other small pieces uh, a clip that's behind here so we have a whole bunch of pieces that I, I'm gonna I definitely need this piece in the other car as well so I got a whole bunch of pieces that I need to, to take so I'm gonna get with that though alright so I have salvage bid right here so this is what I, I, I use most of the time to bid on cars that I can't, that don't do public auctions. So when you look, so this is what I have currently on the watch list. So say if I was to try to, to do a like upgrade or so, I could just click upgrade right here and then this is it, right? So you see that this is, they were like, hey, 249 you get a discount and you get it for 199 so that's a $50 discount right and then it tells you all the things like from free VIN checks or so but for some unknown reason I always have difficulties doing it with um, salvage bid versus auto bid master it works better on with auto bid master so now for for this one over here the VIP because now you get 10 VIN checks right with the regular one over here on the VIP you get 20 then shipping discount you don't get any 
right here but over here you get five so it wasn't ten uh, you know I'm sorry about that I, I did say ten but it was actually it's actually five so I mean it, it's pretty nice if you know you don't really buy as much car you do the, the sixty nine dollars a year but normally as I said I normally wait for Black Friday and get this one because to me this is technically some sometimes it's a better deal and then sometimes it's just like to deal with shipping so that's what I like with um salvage bid it's you know it, it shows all that like I don't have no active bids right now and then like it shows the, the, the bid and this was the one from the 2018 RDS 5 right that I bought like in 2021 so it does keep track of that and then these are like all the bids these are all the bids that I've lost on multiple cars and stuff like that so you know it, it does it does um keep track of everything that you got going on you also have the bid limit, your account, and then my bids and the watch list, and then you need, you have upgrade over here, and then you have all these things on the other side, over here like bid limit, watch, save, search, and all of that transactions and all of that. So most of the time with this though, you have to do a say if you're trying to bid on a car, you'd have to do like a, a six hundred dollar down payment or something. Well, that's pretty much it when it comes to buying cars from from um, salvage bit. It's 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 pretty decent. It's kind of user friendly, but I kind of like auto bid master more and stuff like that. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Turn your post notifications on. Don't forget to check us out on all social media links, and don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you share and make sure all everybody knows what we're doing over here hey and and if you need parts for anything just 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 come get to me at we rebuilds at gmail.com and now we could set up something and because i'm trying to get out get rid of some of the ford escape parts and some of the 2018 audi and s5 parts but anyways see you later Stay positive, stay motivated, and we're still holding that motivation. Let's go.